So recently I was just browsing my testing academy channel right and I was just browsing about the comments that I got right and there was a very interesting comment that I got which was sir if you have to start it again to learn about the software testing right how will you start basically he was asking about what kind of skills that you should need how basically you will start in to in today's time like in 2023 right so in this video I'm going to talk about right how you can start learning as a fresher right if you are a fresher you want to learn about the software testing right how you can start what are the different mentors that you need right what is the road map that you have to follow if you have a doubt i am a non it background should i go as a fresher or should i go with experience right what are the hard skills and soft skills that i need what is which fundamental i should know first right and how much time it will take to become a software tester right in this video we are going to cover everything all right so let's get started all right first of all the first important point which i would like to highlight all of you is that the find the right mentor so let me tell you very important thing if i have to start it again no first of all the first thing that will i will do is that i will find a right mentor right mentor basically means it can be someone who has almost like 10 plus 10 or 12 years of experience in the software testing journey and what i can do is that i can follow them follow them basically means i will basically try to get a touch with them right because if i try to learn by myself right i can watch hundreds of youtube videos i can watch hundreds of udemy courses but with the structure that they know the road map that they know right it's an amazing right because they already have they have gone through the journey that i am going to basically go so if you are a fresher i would request you to find a right mentor which think which you are able to more you can say have more collaboration or you can say you can have some uh attachment to it right if you are able to understand the concept from the right that mentor then you then basically that mentor you have to find first so i will try to find the mentor first that's like a first thing that will it will do and what are the topics i should learn right so topics wise i think uh, atb topics i have given everything right where i talk about as a fresher if you are joining what are the manual testing concept that you have to basically discuss right if you want to basically go ahead with the uh, automation right what are the different topics that you have to do so let me share with you right so here are the topics right it this is actually a curriculum of the automation tester blueprint but here you will find all the topics that you should need as a software testing basics for a refresher as a api testing with postman and everything everything about the topics that that is needed is basically available here that i have basically added here in this case right so that the second important thing that i will do all right so two things are clear now the important point which is which road map i have to follow and pramod sir as a fresher what exactly i have to follow do you have any road map on this yes of course i have so this is a road map that you have seen i have shared this on this you will find multiple road maps more road map related to api testing manual testing automation testing right three important testing you will find all the road maps so now the super important point is what should i know before moving to qa this is where the most important thing that you should research so if i want to jump into the qa right i should know what is a salary as a fresher i will get right i will go with a 3 to 5 lpa if i am in india right or should i go with the higher one what is the growth that i will have i will research what uh, for example the person who have 5 years experience in qa right what kind of salary they are having for the person who has almost 10 years experience what kind of salary they have right for the person who has almost 15 years what is the salary they have this is what i have done it let me tell you very important thing. so when i was just i have just joined as a fresher right for a qa right i have researched what is a 15 year salary of a software qa if he is in he is in the manual testing profile then i saw okay that's fine so i got the number or at that time and even when uh, i was going through that right so i found that for automation tester if he is like sdet manager or he is in automation profile right the salary was very very high so that's why i started moving towards a uh, two years of manual journey right i started moving towards the automation because of the salary high can better opportunities so that's that you have to basically research and that's what i have done so of course you have to be clear about the hard skills and the soft skills that you need so soft skills can be how proactive you are how to how you deal with your your colleagues peers and other things right the how better is your communication is are you able to basically deliver the proper defects or not right uh, interpersonal relationship that you have with your managers and peers right these are so soft skills hard skills are basically 
if you see what are the technical domain knowledge is that you have right? communication the other things right you have to basically learn from the mentors or you can say you have to basically they will grow automatically when you are basically as experience so this is the point which is things i should know as a fresher first of all you have to know what are the basics what are the project that you have to do and in internship what kind of project that you have to do this is where i will research more i will research what kind of internship projects that will basically help me to get into the software testing so make sure as a fresher or if you even if you have some experience right make sure uh, if you are from a non it background right you should know what kind of internship that i should do so that the chances to get selected into software testing are really really high that's the super important thing that you have to research right so internship and projects are the super important thing and they are the only game changer that you will see so now we here is the which fundamental i should know before right so fundamental basically means as a fresher you should have a basic knowledge of html css javascript web fundamentals right how basically web application works how mobile application works right these kind of fundamentals are super super important that you should know so those things you have to basically take care and have research in this case and now last important thing is that how much time it will take that you should know also for example if i am starting out as a fresher right i should know that what what is the time it will take to become for example to jump into the manual testing right for example suppose i have just recently passed out i am a fourth year student i am interested in joining this software testing world right so i know right for by researching i will basically know that okay 2.5 months or 3 months almost it will take if i basically give my like one hour per day right for example 2 months it will i can cover my manual testing concepts right for one and a half month and two months i can cover api testing which is enough to get started and get a manual testing job into the software testing world right but if i want to go directly towards the automation it will take around 4 4 and a half months because i need to basically brush up my programming skills i need to basically brush up my uh, web automation skills api automation skills right so that's where you have to basically take care and research more about it right so that's how i will uh, basically research and that's how i would learn software testing if i have to start it over again right so in the conclusion the important point will be first of all you should be clear about the time what is the time duration that it will take what are the topics are there what is the road map that i have to follow and my salary growth and my next 5 year plan that you should be clear if i am clear with that because that's how i have done it that's how i have done it because when i have started right i basically research the same concepts and same things by discussing with one of my mentor i think i have discussed multiple time i have discussed these things with my uh, mentors that at the time i think on the mncs I, i found that mentor and he was great he had almost like 14 years experience that's where i got all these concepts of clarity so if you want if you want these kind of clarity even if you are starting out as a fresher or even if you are manual things right if you want to ask you can always contact me there is a email id given in the description you can always contact me i will love to be your mentor i will try to help you it's not a mentor i will try to help you as a friend also all right so this is how i will start and thanks a lot for watching i hope this video helps if whoever wants to start a career in the software was testing world because i have almost like 11 years experience guys and i think this is one of the great career right now because software testers are here to live because they are part of the sdlc which is software development life cycle so yes this is going to be an amazing journey for you if you are starting out all right so thanks a lot for watching if you want part 2 in the comment let me know just comment down part 2 in the comment if you are a new subscriber consider subscribing if you are old one thanks a lot for joining and please share with your friends i'll see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.